Hi, my name is Courtney Cogbill and I am an intern with You Matter. And today on my blog, I want to talk to you about how I survived my freshman year in college. I want to be honest with you and give you tips and tricks that helped me get through my first year. It was definitely a hard transition for me and I was super homesick, but I took advice from others that encouraged me to step out of my comfort zone. I have always been a homebody in college, which was a huge step for me, but I made some awesome friends and focused on school to help me get through the year. I want to first start off talking about just being yourself in college. I know throughout middle and high school, I tried to act like someone else to fit in and be popular, but when I got to college, I realized that I don't have to put on such an act. There are so many people and you will eventually find your right crowd. No one really cares at the end of the day of what you wore to school or how your hair looked. I know I wore leggings and sweatshirts every day to school and that made me feel comfortable. My friends liked me for me and accept accepted all of my flaws. And I want to talk about friends in college. I highly advise you to step out of your comfort zone and make new friends. Uh, I had a really hard time with this in college and didn't make very many friends my first year. I was super shy and didn't really talk to a lot of people. I wish I would have made more friends and I feel like that would have helped me enjoy it a bit better. Sometimes all you need is one person to talk to and hang out with. One tip I strongly advise is to join clubs, sports, intramural um, activities, extracurricular activities, all that fun stuff. I joined an intramural volleyball team my freshman year and it was such a good decision for me. I made new friends, but was also getting exercise um, and doing something that I loved. And this team gave me something to look forward to at least once a week. I also participated in a club called FLOW, and this stands for Freshman Leadership Opportunity. This helped me get more involved in school for sure. I met so many new people also while learning new skills and helping build my resume and all that fun stuff. We got together once a week and went on fun adventures with our groups. This club helped me see what I could do on campus. So if you have the time, try something new and join a team. Make sure you're keeping up with your schoolwork. Um, I don't know how to say this enough. You don't want to fall behind and get bad grades. Make the time to do homework and study. I know for me, I spent a lot of time focusing on school freshman year uh, because it helped me stay busy and I also received good grades on top of that um, which made me happy. Also go to class. It's important to take notes and show up. One thing that helped me was going to professor's office hours when I was stuck and this also helped to boost my grades. I know how hard it can be to he eat healthy meals in college um, in the dining hall. It doesn't have the best options and we're pretty much all broke college students and healthy food can get pretty expensive, but if we buy fruits and vegetables and be creative, we can eat healthy but also cheap. There are some cool websites and apps online that can help you create meals for cheap and they're super easy and quick. When I ate healthy, I felt more motivated to do things as well. I was more productive and I was in a better mood. So I strongly advise you to make some healthy meals. Be active. Um, this doesn't mean going to the gym every day. You could try different things like going for a walk, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, going on a hike, uh, riding your bike to school, swimming, playing sports, doing yoga, all that fun stuff. There are so many ways we can be active and have fun while doing it. For me, I like going to fun spin classes or interval classes at the rec. I also do yoga twice a week and that really helps me. Um, I also like doing dance or Zumba classes as well. Those are super fun. We spend a lot of time sitting in class, but after we have the opportunity to move our bodies, and that is super important to keep up with in college. One important reminder is to have fun. Take time for yourself. Go to a movie, maybe play mini golf, go out for dinner, hang out with friends. Um, do hobbies that you enjoy doing and do things that will help you distress after a long week. Sometimes I just like to lay in bed all day and watch movies or make cookies. You need to take care of yourself first so you are ready to continue on to the next week. Well, thank you for listening. Um, I hope you got some tips and tricks on how to survive in college. Um, but trust me, it was all worth it. 
If you are struggling or know someone who does and you need advice to help them, please contact or visit the on-campus student counseling center located on the fourth floor of the student center next to the Northwest staircase in room 430. They can be reached Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30 at 530-898-6345. It's free and confidential. Thank you.